Hi peoples, it's your girl Coach Master. So today we're back for some decluttering tips on how to be more minimalist even when you're overwhelmed. Let's get right on to the video. Number one, everything has its place. So this piece of advice is the simplest thing ever. Start where you are, pick up one thing and put it away. If it doesn't have a home, find a home for it or make it leave your home. Seriously simple and something you can do in little bite-sized chunks when you have the time. Number two, when I downsized, it was a decision that I came with. I wanted to do more things and not always be stuck at home cleaning. So I realized that a smaller size and living smaller would help me save money and also be able to achieve that. So use your goals as a barometer. Keeping the goal of this in mind, I was able to look at each item and assess whether it helped me or it hindered my life goals. Number three, use a timer to get started. Sometimes just starting is the hardest thing. When clutter and mess have got out of control, the motivation to get started decluttering your home starts to fade away. So days can pass, weeks can pass. You can keep looking at the mess every day and you'll get stressed out by it. That's why this tip is so helpful. Set a timer for five minutes and use that to complete your one task. Repeat this three times and each time completing a different task and a different stage of tidying. So it's something anyone can achieve with only a few minutes a day. Number four. Find a way to repurpose sentimental items. So I'm going to be doing a sentimental item declutter. Stay tuned for that. But until that comes, this is a big one for any kind of decluttering because I know sentimental takes a lot of storage space. So if you keep items in boxes or things that are stored away like museum pieces that are admired but not used, these items are cluttered. Using these items regularly or finding a way to display them in a clutter-free fashion is switching them from being underappreciated to a useful life. Number five, donate but don't sell. So if you're frugal with money and you're really trying to save money, it's tempting to sell all of your items, but sooner or later you're gonna realize that it takes more time to like to post an ad for them and it takes a lot of time to get them sold and sometimes they don't even sell at all. So it's way better to just donate your item in that case. So more than likely the item is just gonna sit in a box until you're ready to list it, then it's gonna clutter up your home, it's gonna stay in your house for way more than necessary. So. Thank you so much for staying here with me for a couple of minutes and do not like, comment, and subscribe. Don't do it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.